Alright folks, so this is a tutorial in regards to how to start looking at light and shadow within a space, whether it's inside or as I'm about to show you, outside or a combination of the two, hence the term hybrid here at the bottom. Um, I'm using a Sharpie. Uh, that is to say that you don't have to use a Sharpie. I just am used to drawing with something that's permanent at this point. Um, it is a good habit to get into, as I've said in the past, um, but you are free to use a pencil for this. Um, I'm not using reference material uh, that's very complicated. So, uh, for instance, right here on my phone, just an office building um, or an office space. Uh, for the second one. Um, so I'm going to keep this off to the side. Uh, and I'm just going to explain as I start drawing my, um, my process here. Sorry if you hear my phone go off. Um, what I'm doing is when I'm looking at the photograph, I'm isolating everything down to black or white. Lucky for me, the paper's already white. So most of the drawing is actually done, so to speak. Um, however, everything else that's uh, in color or a dark shadow is what I am rendering on the page right now. Uh, it's more about establishing depth, objects, a sense of space, within this area. There are people in this and um, you know you could certainly render the people if you want. Uh, however they are very loose interpretations of what I'm seeing in the photograph. Uh, I'm more concerned with the environment that they're in rather than the details of the people. Um, I, right now I'm just drawing these objects, coffee mugs, things like that on the table. I'm not trying to get everything down precisely. I'm, I'm moving around the page fairly quickly because as I said, the emphasis is space. Where is this? Do I have an idea, if I'm the viewer, not the artist, of where this is? Or does it remind me of something? Am I familiar with it? Does it make sense to me? This is essentially called positive space, negative space drawing. And it's a fantastic way to also figure out what colors you're going to use later. So if you're doing a full color painting later, this allows you to really get a sense of shadows and light. And then think about what colors or what kind of color palette would be superimposed on top of these shadows and light. And as I'm drawing this, I'm, uh, I'm staring at the photograph more than my page that I'm actually drawing on. Reason being, uh, if I just start looking at my page, I'm going to forget what it is that I'm trying to capture. My, um, my short-term memory or my ability to recall isn't as awesome as I'd like it to be. I don't have a photographic memory. So I'm doing blind contour, essentially, which means that as I'm drawing, I'm staring at my reference. Um, there are some cast shadows right here, and I'm just going to use some line work to establish those so that there's a sense of the floor. Um, the other thing is, I'm not going to be able to fit the whole space within here. So I'm just doing a cropping. 
because remember this is this is essentially an exercise in establishing a space from reference a thumbnail right I mean it's it's fairly quick this isn't something I'm spending an enormous amount of time on I am focused as if I was doing a full-fledged drawing you know that would take an hour or so but I'm I'm going to be doing more you know what seven more of these so I'm not uh, obsessing over tiny details or trying to capture everything in the frame wherever wherever the box ends the drawing ends that's it I don't try to squeeze things in because then I'm gonna throw off the proportion and I don't I don't need that I also want to be sure that I don't, um, if there is space uh, in corners, that I'm not leaving anything out on purpose either because I just don't feel like drawing it or it's too challenging. So, just as a comparison, let me cover up this first drawing here. It's really right in there that I've established here. This is just a great practice to um, use observational drawing of a space and being able to capture it through traditional observational drawing. Pers this is not perspective drawing or technical drawing because you're, I wasn't using a vanishing point or horizon lines. I'm just simply doing what uh, you know, you've done with still life or your figure in your portrait, but now you're applying the same logic to a space. So that's what you're going to do. Um, three interior spaces three exterior spaces, meaning like a backyard, a forest, mountain, ocean, all of the above. And then a combination of the three. This could be, you know, a person opening their door uh, to their backyard. Um, it could be a cabin that looks out onto um, a valley, something like that. Um, be creative in your maybe your photo um, references and your selections, whether you're finding them on your phone or you're taking them yourself. Um, you may use a pencil, but I would challenge you to use uh, something permanent like a marker or a pen. Good luck.